So today what we're gonna be doing is I need to propagate some butterfly weed through cuttings. And here's why. While we have our monarch milkweed garden here, and it's doing great, and the monarchs visit all the time, um, the butterfly weed is very not happy right now. And really that's driven by the fact that all these bananas and this ponciana are adding a lot of shade to this area. So it's not really ever blossoming, which those flowers are really pretty. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make more of it. So let's do that. Okay, so you can see a whole bunch of my swamp milkweed here and you're probably wondering where in the world is your butterfly We Oh, what is this sad, sad, sad plant right here? This, this would be one of my butterfly weeds. And this one right here, look. This other sad, sad looking one is also butterfly weed. And it has been sad most of the time. Now what's really cool about this butterfly weed is I paid zero dollars for it. I didn't buy seeds, I didn't do anything. I actually just got cuttings from my neighbor's yard and I, I took them little sticks and I shoved them into little pots and I made butterfly weed plants. But we know these are a full sun loving plant. We've got space over here in the wildflower garden, which is going, it, it's getting to that season where a lot of people start to feel uncomfortable with it. I love it. It's looking great to me, but other people might be like, oh, that blanket flower. Oh, those black eyed seasons. I don't know how I feel about that. So I was thinking is we could add a little bit of butterfly weed in here and get some more pops of color going, you know, as it goes through its flowering stage. And it would just give more places for the monarchs to hang out because I've been adding stuff for my yellow butterflies. So I figured I'd give them more of a chance. I don't know, I just want more butterflies. Let's go with it. We're propagating, we're using cuttings this time. Now you may be wondering if this is a super complicated process. It absolutely is not. It's actually very, very easy. This was one of the first things I ever learned how to propagate through cuttings. Um, I don't think I ever put it on film. I just kind of did it and then I was like, hey, it's working, yay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reuse some of these little tiny pots that I've gotten from I think Wilcox or Little Red Wild, one of those places. These are like a great size for starting plants in because they're not too big. Um, I've already used my smaller trays for starting seeds. So check out that video too, if you wanna know how to do things in different ways, um, but we'll be using these. So I've just got some soil, you know, I don't remember if it's in bed soil. Yeah, I think this is in bed soil. It's probably extra from some project. I just dump them in a bucket when I have extra. So I'm gonna fill this up to the top. Bam, like that. You know, you want a rich soil. Okay, so now that I filled these three up with soil, I just went straight to the top. I'm gonna get them all nice and wet, and then I'm gonna go grab my cuttings. Okay, so the process is really simple. So you gotta have a butterfly weed. It can have leaves on it. The ones that I originally got the cuttings for, or the stems for, I don't know how you want to call it, um, did have leaves on it. And what I did when I, they have leaves is I stripped it down just to like one or two. Those will die off before they put on new growth. Um, but I just kind of left it there because I was like, hey, use these while you can. But the big thing is, is that you'll see that your butterfly weed or your milkweed has kind of these sections. And this is its way, hi, milkweed bug. You're going to have to find another spot. <laughs> Basically, this is its way of dealing with the fact that the caterpillars are eating it all the time or the milkweed bugs, whatever. And um, it can basically not open itself up to, you know, infections and stuff like that. So basically think of it like how bamboo has sections. There's lots of plants that do this so that they can basically compartmentalize, um, which makes them less vulnerable, especially if they're plants that other things like to eat a lot. So what I do is I look for three sections and then I cut beyond the third. So Right, we kind of have a little stubby here, but I'm gonna count one, two, three. And then what I'll do is I'll make my cut right here. Ta-da! I'm counting one, two, three, and we'll make the cut right here. Okay, so now we have three cuttings and we're gonna just go stick them in the pots. So the idea is, is I wanna get two of these, one, two, in the soil. So as I put my little sticky poo in, here he goes, Whoa! way down and we say grow okay. and then again and if we get a third one in better because this is where the beginnings of little buds for starting like new branches come from um, and also your future roots so here we go again we stick them in and we go yay if there's leaves get rid of the leaves because all that's going to do is rot and then that just you know that allows the boogies and the bad guys and the bad things that we don't want in there. Do remember which side's the top and the bottom. I try to. And we're gonna stick it in. Whee! And we are so happy. And we say night night, night night. And 
that's it for right now. So we're just gonna keep the soil generally pretty moist and we're gonna check in on this in seven days and you can see what's happening. Seven days later, new leaves. All the stems are looking green. Got a little leaf here, little leaf here. And looks like the tops kind of died back just a tiny bit. Here we are at 14 days. Both of these have put on leaves and this one looks like it's putting out a leaf from underground, which is okay. You can see the top where we used to have leaves died back, but we came out from here and same down here, actually. We sprouted from one of the underground nodes. So it looks like this one too. So 14 days. Here we are 21 days from trance or from the cuttings. Um, they're looking a little sad because the last couple days we didn't get rain. So I just watered everyone. They'll probably perk up in the next hour. So they look really good, but you can see, wow, we're getting a lot of leaves and I'm getting to the point where I'm close to being ready to transplant. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs are panting. Um, lots of good growth. At this point, I would feel comfortable transplanting these. And once we prep the area for the new milkweed garden, that's where these ones are gonna go. You may say, surprise, what is that? So these are the butterfly weed I propagated. So they have those beautiful orange flowers. So when they do finally bloom, bam, got some orange in there. So it's been about a week since I put my butterfly weed cuttings into the ground and look at them. Ah, they are looking so happy and healthy. And I don't think we've gotten any new butterfly caterpillar activity yet. But I'm sure the <laughs> I'm sure the monarchs are gonna find them soon because I just saw some floating around. So if you want to learn more about how to propagate milkweed by seed, go ahead and check out this. And if you want to learn more about butterfly weed, go ahead and check out this. Okay, I'll see you soon.